So today, we're making tomate à la Provençale, uh, a home dish of mine from uh, Provence in France. So you, you ate this growing up? I you? ate this most definitely growing up. As you grew up in Provence? I grew up in, yeah, Provence. Provence. We'll be uh, using some main ingredients to stuff these wonderful tomatoes, such as our ground beef. We've got chopped onion, fresh basil, and chopped garlic. We'll also be using some of the gar uh, basil heads for a little bit of garnish. And I'm excited to learn about a French dish because <laughs> I'm learning something new. That's great. So I'm starting to heat up the pan. We're going to get some olive oil going on there, get uh, our chopped garlic and uh, chopped uh, onions nice and seared. You want that instant sizzle. So we're going to be uh, taking the top off these, uh, these tomatoes and keeping them for garnish. And then uh, we'll be emptying out the, the tomato and adding it to our mixture that we'll be stuffing them back with. Just a regular spoon. Get around the edges and it should just pop out. And then maybe some of this water we'll get rid of. Or knife. <laughs> I take that into everyday cooking, and so if I want a good sear on any kind of vegetable, any kind of meat, you want that pan hot, and anything, for example, if you're putting in butter, if you put the butter too early, it'll become brown, and it'll lose its quality. Yeah, you want the butter clear. Exactly. And then throwing in this garlic, okay. just to have a light roast on it. I like to season every step of the way, and so right here, I'll add just a little bit of salt and a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. That all around. Spread it around, make sure it gets all evenly cooked. So the beef is releasing quite a bit of liquid. That's same with the uh, the onions. So we're just gonna turn up the heat a little bit just so it gets a nicer sear rather than just a cook. Well the beef is cooking and we've got the tomatoes chopped and the basil, everything going. We're just gonna have some baguettes and brie. That's good. Keep it fresh. Our meat's uh, cooked uh, well enough. We're just gonna put it on the side and just let some of that uh, oil drain out because we don't really want that in our meal. And so we'll just uh, prop it up on one side. What was in here? Is this clean? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, to get breadcrumbs, I'm gonna grate some of this baguette, the ends of the baguette, the crust of the baguette on this cheese grater. Good job. It depends on how fine you want to be. Chopped up uh, tomato innards with our meat. Right now we're just going to give a quick season with some salt and pepper. You always want to season every step of the way. So we're going to add in our basil, freshly uh, minced. Add in our breadcrumbs. Is that enough? We'll probably need some for the topping. And then uh, we'll just be mixing it up nice and, nice and all in there. Because it is French, there's a little secret and like mama's cooking, it comes from these herbs. And so it's a blend of 11, uh, 11 herbs, and it's all native to uh, my region in France. And so why not? Into our mixture, just to bring out some great flavors. So we forgot to put the egg in. Yeah. So we're gonna just crack her open. <laughs> it just makes it all hold a little bit more together. I see this as like an appetizer. If you have friends over, yeah. kind of like before you're like, before you're barbecuing or something else in the, in the summer. Yeah. You're just having wine and your baguette. Now that we've stuffed our tomatoes, they're just about ready to go in the oven, but we're just gonna top them off with some more breadcrumbs and a mixture of the, some, some cheese, because who doesn't like cheese, right? So we're gonna put the oven at 375, and we're gonna let these cook for about 40 minutes, and check them then and see where they are at. So what you're looking for is these is the tomato skin to start splitting. That means that the uh, tomato is getting nice and cooked. Wow, this looks great. Compliments to the chef. We're joined by our friend Steve. We're going to taste the tomato salad Provencal. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
yeah, it just crumbles. Look at that. Mm. Or, instead of using beef, we would use vegetables, and then it would be served with pork chops or uh, beef steak or... I think it has a lot of the same ingredients as pasta. So it could be on pasta noodles anyway. As well, yeah. Yeah, it's got, if you have ground beef in your pasta, and tomatoes, and basil, and garlic, and onion. Very good, very good. At the right time of the day, that is extremely filling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... The way to do a perfect scallop is to get your pan red hot. Hey folks. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're using tomatoes. <laughs> I'm Luke and I'm gonna land my Discovery Pro quadcopter on this stump. Ready. I don't know, I feel like it's light but still filling. <laughs>